Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how simple and easy it is to quantize a model. By model I mean the large language models which are in work these days. Quantization is a process of mapping continuous infinite values to a smaller set of discrete finite values. In the context of machine learning, quantization simply means that it's a method to allow users to use the CPU to run a large language model, but it also enables them to offload some of its layers to the GPU for some sort of speed acceleration. So that is what quantization is. The most popular format of quantization these days is GGUF. Previously, it was GGML. So in this video, we will be creating a GGUF format. Heads off to Maxine Lebon whose um, code I'm using for this demo. So, and I'll also put the link to the code in the video's description. So let's get started. One of the greatest thing about it is that I don't have to buy any expensive GPU or anything. All you need for this demo is a free version of Google Colab. Just go to Google Colab and then go to runtime change runtime type and then select the free T4 GPU and that's it. Another thing which you would need is the Hugging Face account because after quantizing the model, we will also be uploading it to Hugging Face. So go to huggingface.co and then log in with your free account and then in the profile on the left hand side click on access token and also grab the right token from here. If you don't have any token, just click on new token and then click a, and create a uh, write token by generating the token. That's it. And then copy it. Okay, let's go back to our Google Colab and let's get cracking. The first step we need to do is to define a model which we are going to quantize. So I'm just going to use the Maxine's own uh, model which is this Neural Beagle 14 7 billion parameter model. Let's set this variable here with the model ID. The model name is Neural Beagle and the repo is Emblebone. Let's wait for it to get set. Sometimes it takes a bit of a time for runtime to warm up. Okay, that's done. And now let's see what sort of quantization methods we are going to use. So there are various levels of quantization, Q1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. I'm just going to go with the one in to save some time. Okay, that is done. Let me also make sure that there are no spaces or anything. You don't have to do this following step, but I'm just doing to complete the loop. So that is done. Now, here you need to specify your hugging face credentials. So I'm just going to go with my username for me the C. And then let me also specify my hugging face token so just create a variable called as token is equal to and then let's paste my hugging face token here let me go back to hugging face website maybe i'll just create a new token for this one i'll just say it q token so q token has been generated i'll just grab this by copying from here and then replace it in this place and I will of course delete this token after this video so please make sure that you have your own token because this won't work okay now let's also grab the model name which is neural beagle that's done now let's install llama.cpp which is a library and it allows us to run the models on the CPU in very very high level simple words that is done now let's cd to llama.cpp and then also set up this kablas library it is running sometime it takes bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish And one of the good thing about Google Colab is it, it comes pre-installed with a lot of stuff, but you can use the same commands on any Linux instance, but for that you would have to install a lot of things. For example, this NVC, C, NVIDIA, Toolkit for CUDA, 
of course you would need to install your gpu drivers g++ c++ llama.cpp transformers hugging face hub lot of things you would need to install so it's always a good idea to start with google colab and then once you are comfortable then move on to any of your linux or other operating system for the full blown stuff this is done and now let's install our requirements from the github repo which we have just cloned and this is going to install a lot of things but you don't take too long as most of the things are already installed here as you can see let's wait requirements are done and let's restart our session but we would i think uh, we might re lose our environment variables but that is fine we will reinitialize them so i have specified all of my variables which i defined earlier again because i have restarted that session and now let's download the model because it contains large file system so i am using git lfs it should be installed and now it is cloning the model locally it is using the same model id which we have specified above this neural beagle so let's wait for it to finish model has been downloaded with its tensors and if you click on this folder icon on the left it is showing you that this is our neural beagle 14 7b with the three tensors and all the config in is in there okay now in the next step let's convert this model to 16 bit floating point and what it means is that what we are doing is that um, we are changing the numerical precision of the model's parameters and computations from a higher precision to um, f a higher precision from it such as floating point 32 to floating point 16. So what it what what the implications here are is that this just uh, reduces the memory consumption to half. So the memory required to store the model's weights and to perform calculations is effectively just slashed into half. And this is really beneficial with when working with huge models and for our free collab where we are just using the free GPU. And the benefit would be that um, many modern GPUs and neural network accelerators are optimized for FP16 calculations. So it will process FP16 operation faster we will have less memory requirements, we will need less bandwidth, and of course, at the end of the day, it will be more energy efficient. Okay, so my disk is almost full. So, okay, I will ignore it for now. I think we should be good for this operation. I just remove this and then I will clean it up later. I think I still have plenty of disk available. Hopefully, it will be done. If not, then I will restart it. But let's see let's wait for it to finish this takes a bit of a time of course as you can see that out of 291 <coughs> almost 120 are done fp16 conversion is 10 and now let's quantize our model so here you can see i'm just looping through the list which we provided up uh, earlier and let me quickly take you there so we are just specifying one quantization method but you can have multiple ones so we are just going with the q4km so let me run it now it will take a bit of a time so while it happens let me uh, tell you a bit about this quantization stuff now um, quantization as you know that this is a technique uh, in the uh, used to reduce the precision of numbers so that uh, we will have less memory footprint and computational requirements now in this uh, method which is like q4km what is happening is that q stands for quantization and the number following q like 4 5 3 to 1 they indicate the number of bits used to represent each number after quantization for example in our case q4 means each number is represented with four bits and the K and M part usually refers to specific parameters of quantization scheme, often related to the range and precision of the quantization. And then there are a lot of other detailed differences like bit, depth, and memory and computational efficiency and accuracy. 
between this quantization method and I will create another video around it um, just to explain it in more detail with diagrams so let's leave it there for now as you can see this quantization is still running and if I scroll down again there are 291 layers I guess so let's wait for it to finish and that's it that is the last step in quantization by by the way after the end of it we will have a quantized model in q4 ggf format so let's wait for it to finish as you can see that it is almost done and it was done as we were speaking and it took this much time okay now let's log into hugging face because up till this point we have quantized the model which is great now i'm logging to hugging face i already have put in my token and stuff if you remember in the uh, variables so and now i am logged in there and now let me also grab my token from the variable which i had set above and then i'm calling the hugging face api okay so it says that secret not found let me i think i would need to set it again just give me a sec to set it again so I just put my token here and I was able to log in and API is initialized and then I created the repo in hugging face by just specifying my model in the GGWeb format. So if you click on this folder, I can go to neural beagle and you can see just expand it a bit. This is the one which we have just created in GGWeb format. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, create our repo which we already did. And this is the repo name with the model name. If you go to hugging face, then you can see that this repo has been created there just now. Now let's upload our model there, which we have just quantized. And this is how we are uploading our model to hugging face, which we have just quantized. And you can, of course, quantize any model from hugging face and then upload it over there. So the size of our quantized model is just around 4.37 gig which, is, which it is uploading to hugging face at the moment with the help of this upload folder function of our API. So model is almost uploaded and that's done as you were speaking. And now let's go to hugging face and check our model. So this is my hugging face repo and you can see this is my uh, repos link. I have clicked on it and then let's refresh it. let's wait for it to load okay so that's okay so that's loaded i don't have any readme file which is fine click on files and there you go this is our uh, ggf file which we have just uploaded a minute less than a minute ago so that's it guys this is how you quantized a model from hugging face again huge thanks to maxim lebon i think he's doing a wonderful job if you have any questions if you are stuck let me know and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share the channel among your network as that helps thanks for watching